Hello and welcome to Metroid Samus Returns. We're in area three and we're gonna continue through this area and find find some more more gadgets and doodads we can use to to progress even further and annihilate more Metroids. That's that's kind of our thing. We just annihilate them and bonk them out of existence. Um yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, before we do that though, I'd appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you can catch a stream. I stream on Saturdays, but the times I go live can be random. So make sure you have notifications turned on so you can catch the stream. Uh, and I'd also appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video. It does really help me out in the algorithm. It pushes the video out to a lot more people when you do that. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get on with this video. I hate these guys. The snails are so f***ing annoying. Same with- actually, like, every enemy in this area is kind of annoying. At least a little bit. They take forever to kill. Love the wave beam, though. Wave beam pog. Wave beam pog. What the fuck is that? Die, asshole! Oh, I hate you. Oh, no. How do I kill you? Oh, easy enough. Easy enough. Come at me, bro. You gotta die, sorry. Look at all those weird little robots in the background. Wonder why they're here. They look like they're trying to mine or something. Disgusting! Disgusting! Tanky enemies is a common criticism of this game. Luckily, they changed it in Dread. Dope. Perish with missiles. <laughs> Perish. Oh shit, what's going on in the back? Oh! Oh, get away! <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna give them the, the big bonk. Sorry. Sorry, guys. You gotta get the big bonk. Big bonk for little bugs. Okay, I don't think we want to go down there. What do you hope they put in dread? Uh, I honestly don't have enough info on- Oh, why did I do that again? Die, please. It didn't die? Are you kidding me? Oh, I gotta get some Aeon energy now. Oh, fuck. Really? No way. Stop. Can I jump over him? No. How do I kill these guys? Okay, missiles are the way to go. I need to just farm some Aeon and energy. Oh my god. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know enough about the Metroid series yet to, to know what I want, so... So I'm just uh, just happy to get more Metroid content for now. I'll have a better answer when I finish um, Fusion. I believe that that's the last 2D one that in like in the sequence before Dread. Uh, the Chozo used to dig on planets. Yeah, they don't say that in the games. Yeah, they don't say a lot about the like Chozo in the games. It seems like the manga is is your way to go to find everything Chozo related. I want to check out the manga sometime. Die, fucker. You must die. Look at this guy. Acting like he's all cool and shit. God, he- Ooh, Get out of here. Punk. Ya punk! Dread will finally talk more about the Chozo. Yeah, that's something really cool. That's that's gonna happen. Oh, I can... I can do this. I could just bomb jump up there, but whatever. We'll do it this way, the easy way. But yeah, I absolutely love what they've been doing with the backgrounds in, in this game so far. Lots of cool shit. Okay, I guess I can't go that way yet. Oh, fuck! They respawned. 
Not Pog, not Pog. Ah, god damn it. Get away, bro. Bro, stop. Ooh. All right, we got him. We got him. <laughs> fall damage. <laughs> fake, fake fall damage. I fell on an enemy. Just in time for another stream. Hell yeah, Diego. Happy to see you here. If it's a Faces of Evil party, I get you. <laughs> this guy. Wait, what's down here first? Nice. Let's take a look. I gotta kill them all. I hate these things. They, they gotta be wiped out. It's just the way she be. Really? Suspect. Aha! Uh -huh. ah. I hope they add more powers that aren't Aeon related. That'd be cool. It would also be cool if they came up with a good, like, um, excuse as to why she loses all her stuff in the beginning of every... Of every... Holy shit, this guy's so fast. Oh my god. That guy's so tanky. What the fuck? <laughs> I gotta get better at bonking. They're too fast. Uh, yeah, I would love like a like a good like canon explanation as to why she always loses her shit. Holy fuck, stop. Got he. There we go. Uh, backgrounds in this game are amazing just because they are unique, not loop background. Their life in the back and the forward platforms are connected to the back. True. Oh, I don't need to be here. It's just a uh, teleporty. Anything else around here? Nope. Happy to see you in chat vicinity. There's one confirmed, the spider magnet or something like that. Oh. Prime games tell you how Samus loses her shit? Oh. I'll have to check that out. You can't trick our boy two times in a row. True. They explain it in Prime 1, but that's it. Only for that game. Oh, I see. I saw a good explanation on it, like, on a Reddit. Because I was just looking at, like... Oh, God. We got the alarm going off. Please give me health. Give me health, snail. Thank you. Uh, I saw a good explanation in a... In a... Well, a good headcanon in a Reddit thread. Uh, they said that, uh... Like, maybe the... The upgrade Samus's suit like the upgrades she get she gets aren't um permanent like as in after a certain set amount of time they just like kind of disappear ish like i don't know that's the best the best explanation i've heard so far other than some other wonky shit i didn't mean it doesn't really matter at the end of the day it's just because it's a video game and they gotta make the video game interesting I just love that kind of stuff. Oh, well, can I bonk him? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that shit. Hell yeah. You'll love the reason she doesn't have her power-ups in Other M. Yeah, I still haven't decided if I'm going to play that one or not. It seems like the, the fan bases are pretty uh, split up on whether that's a good game. If anything, that'll be after I do the Prime series, which is in the future. Some Sometime I haven't decided when I'll do that either. Probably Wi-Fi upgrades, and every time she leaves the planet, she loses everything, and I have to get them again. I I heard that one too. Yeah, that one's a, a pretty pretty good one. <laughs> or like I think the explanation I saw, they said it was like the Chozo made it like timed on purpose or some shit because it's, her suit's just too fucking powerful. Not not a single human can can handle that much power or some shit. <laughs> Game as a game is actually good. The story on the other side is, well... <laughs> Wait, let's, uh... I can't go up here, right? Yeah. Can't go up here yet. Let's continue! Yes! What's in here? Oh, the next, uh, area we're supposed to go is below us. Fuck! Charging purple bastards! 
or charging purple bitches, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a new item pretty soon. I can tell with all these new things they're, they're throwing at us. Not trying to spit fire at us, at anyone, just other M. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Hey, a new item! Pog! New item, Pog! Grapple beam! That's dope! I've never used the grapple beam before. Because Zero Mission didn't have it, right? Unless it was something I missed or some shit. <laughs> the grapple beam latches onto blue or red grapple points. Tap its icon on the touchscreen, blah blah blah. Uh, holding wide if... Wait, maybe I shouldn't have skipped that. <laughs> the classic let's player move, right? <laughs> Skipping the instructions? I fell into the trap. Tap its icon on the touchscreen to equip and hold Y to fire. Uh, holding Y while fixed to a grapple point will maintain the connection, allowing you to perform various actions. Fire at a grapple point in free aim mode to auto reactivate this beam. Dope! Dope. Grapple beam, a new feature that wasn't in the original. Oh yeah, the second half of your promise. We're truly Spider Samus. <laughs> Oh, but you know what time it is, guys. Grasp me. Yes, thank you. Oh, yes. That's, that's nice. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, wait, so I have to select it like this. Oh. Oh, wow. This is kind of a pain to switch. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't figure out how to... Uh, I didn't figure out how to make it make a a, a button uh, a button bind to press on the the touch screen. Whatever, I'll deal with it again. We'll just deal with it. I like this. I like how you can extend it too. Did you know in uh, in Smash Brothers Melee, there's a like this is the only game where this glitch happens um you can do this button sequence with with samus and it'll let you extend her normal grab because normally she just does her whip like front front like in front of her and it, it goes out a certain amount of distance but if you do this button sequence it lets you make it go really far and you can like control it like you have like control over how it moves around and shit it's pretty cool the grape bean <laughs> If you aim at a grapple point, it'll do it automatically, so you don't need a switch. Oh, thank you, Zizek. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to end this one here. Um, yeah, so uh, before I end this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and ring the bell. It does help me out, and it lets you know when I go live. I go live on Saturdays, but the times I'm live can be pretty random, so make sure you turn on notifications so you can catch that stream. Um... Yeah, uh, next episode we'll try out the grapple beam some more and or we'll try out the grapple beam and see see how, how far we can go into area three now. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have yourselves a good one.